do all day. <laughs> oh. um, well, I just want to share with you what God did, how I came to the Lord. Um, I was a drug addict for 13 years, shot up still mm. crystal meth and everything. And um, my family started getting saved, and then um, I was going to go to L.A. to go to rehab because I lost my job all of them. <coughs> and I did the altar call just because I didn't have anything like to lose, but I wasn't, I didn't feel any conviction, like all of a sudden I need to be saved. I just went to the altar call and responded because it was all, that was really, I mean, I didn't have anything to lose, right? And um, so I went down there and nothing happened, and then I went home and that following weekend we had some prophets come over that my, my brother knew, and they prayed for me, and when they prayed for me, I heard a breath in my ear, and I was really, really paranoid at that time, so I looked, you know, to see if somebody was like, breathing in my ear. <laughs> but it was the breath of life. It was God breathing on me. And instantly, I was delivered from uh, drug addiction and using foul language because every other word was like a foul word. And uh, it was like every, those words were out of my vocabulary. I didn't even, like, they weren't even in my mind anymore. And I was smoking. But my brother told me, oh, you have demons. So I, st my will started spinning in my head, and I started, like, kind of overanalyzing and freaking out about it. So somebody had calmed me down and said, don't worry, not everybody has demons. But I, the truth was I had demons, but I just, you know, it was too, too much for me to understand at the time. And um, we had gone to a meeting like this, and some guy was speaking, and I made some, like, I said something, because I had, like, you couldn't even hold a conversation with me. I'd be, like, highly emotional, and then I'd yell at you and cry, and I was, like, multiple personalities. I wasn't diagnosed that, but when you talked to me, I was just scattered. I was everywhere. My brain was really, really fried, and uh, when this person responded to whatever I had said, he shifted and he looked at me, and when he spoke, I felt all of these things in my head run into my feet, and I cowered it down, and I couldn't look up, and I was trembling, and um, so I didn't say anything, you know, and then that night, I just prayed, and I was like, Lord, whatever's there, I don't want it, so just deliver me, and about, two, this was all like only a month after I'd been saved. So two weeks later, I got a call to go to the healing rooms, and some people started praying for me in the spirit. Nothing was happening, and then the door opened, and that guy came in, and the minute he put his hand on my head, um, my vision went red, and all I could see was like flashing, like warfare or something, and I just was crying and wailing, but it wasn't really me. It was like something deep, deep inside. For two and a half hours, I didn't know what they were casting out. I didn't have to say anything. It just was all coming out. and. I got in the car and I remember sitting there, but I was so used to overanalyzing and tripping out on everything all the time, you know, like, oh, this, blah, 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 that when I got in the car, my mind was peaceful and quiet for the first time. And so I was trying really hard to, like, make it do what it normally does, like, over-obsess and think and go crazy, but it wasn't. But the thing was, is I felt empty inside, like I lost my best friend. So whatever was in there, like, it literally took up my whole being and... I just, you know, when someone, you know, when someone dies, you feel that loss, like, oh, there's something missing. So I just felt like this empty vessel. And we were driving past a revival, and there was all these bikers, and they were all tattooed, and they were all praising God. So I was like, let's go there. Because I always thought going to church would be so boring, and people would be, you know. <laughs> so um, the pastor asked if anybody wanted to come forward, and I just, I had heard the people praying in tongues, and I wanted that, so I just went forward. And when he laid hands on me, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit and the Father's love. And I felt like this infilling, and that empty area just completely filled up. And I got a job working for a Christian uh, missionary organization, and God just completely started restoring my life. And then um, I was single. I didn't have any relationships. I was totally sold out and in love with the Lord. But I was at the gym, and I was always using that as my mission field. And I met somebody, and I invited them to church, and we started hanging out. But it was like um, I started, you know, having feelings for this person. And we were way unequally yoked. He wasn't even a believer. And deception came in so fast that when I was, you know, started uh, hanging out with him, and I fell into sin with this person, and then all of a sudden, like, I was always having, like, this warring feeling in my stomach, and I would go to church, and... I'm on the prophetic dance team, so I'm, I'm a worshiper. Like, I'm free, so I can dance before the Lord in freedom. And I would look at people dancing, and I, I, would, I started to think they were all brainwashed. So the spirit of deception had come in so quick. 
and I started thinking that my deliverance and everything I had experienced was just like, you know, over exaggerated or, you know, and I was looking for a Baptist church somewhere that wasn't, you know, speaking in tongues. And I mean, I just totally, it was crazy. <laughs> But God set me free, and he was faithful, and so I guess I just want to share that. I mean, I was in a very uh, strong environment in, in my home. I lived with my brother and his wife, and it was all about God all the time, and I worked in a Christian organization. I had this powerful deliverance, and I was involved in ministry, but, you know, like that little leaven will leaven the whole lump, and um, this, the enemy wants to take you out so fast, so I just want to encourage you to continue just to stand strong and you know any relationships just make sure it's the lord god brought me my fiance like shortly after and i i was like stay away from me and fasted and prayed and the lord really revealed that this is the person for me so um that's all wow.